This video is on energy transfer calculation questions. Okay, so we've got an example question here um, of uh, energy transfer, and which tells us that the diagram shows the transfer of energy through a cow, and that the figures are in kilojoules times 10 to the power of six per year. So that part of the question is really important. Uh, we might need that later on. Um, so we've got here in various different numbers um, and we've got a key. So um, A, energy absorbed from the gut. C, energy consumed in food. F, energy lost in faeces. P, energy used in production of new tissue. R, energy lost by respiration. And U, energy lost in urine. So it's asking us to complete the following equation for the energy used in the production of new tissue using only the letters C, F, R, and U. So it's giving us a big clue here, really, because um, what it's saying is basically we can ignore A, energy absorbed from the, the gut here. Um, we don't need to, to take that into account. And obviously P is what we're trying to calculate. So that's, uh, that's on, on one side of the equation already. So what um, we want to have a look at is the relationship between these, um, these uh, numbers, these figures. OK, so if we have a think about it, the um, energy that is going to be used to produce new tissue is going to be equal to the amount of energy taken in, which is C, minus any losses through the usual route. So we know that the losses are by a respiration, urine and faeces production. So it's basically uh, P equals C minus the sum of these three, um, R plus U plus F. Um, or we could just put C minus R minus U minus F. OK, so we could do either of those um, to get the answer here. So P equals C minus uh, so, uh, energy consumed minus losses to respiration, minus losses to urine production and minus losses of faeces production or C uh, P equals sorry, uh, P energy used in production of new tissue equals energy consumed minus those three added together, losses due to respiration and urine and faeces production. OK, so either of those is absolutely fine. Then it asks us to calculate the value of P. So all we have to do here is insert the numbers that were given in the diagram into this equation that we have just um, that we've just written out. So as long as we've got this part of the question, then this part of the, the this uh, second part should be relatively easy, because what we're saying here is C 91.34 um, minus 30.51 minus 0.03 minus 57.06 or you can sum these together and then take them away which is I think what I've done here so 91.3 which is energy consumed minus the sum of losses due to respiration urine and faeces production and that should give us a value of 3.74 Okay, this is the second part of the same question, and I put the diagram in for reference. Um, it tells us that um, it's been estimated that an area of 8,100 metres square of grassland is needed to keep one cow, and the productivity of grass is 21,135 kilojoules per metre square per year. So we can use those two numbers to work out the number of kilojoules needed to keep one cow um, would be the uh, 21,135 times 8,100 metres squared. So that's um, going to give us the bottom of our fraction. And then the top of our fraction is going to be uh, the energy used in production of new tissue, because what we're working out here is what percentage of the energy in the grass is used in the production of new tissue in one cow. So we need um, effectively P on the top of our fraction divided by um, these two numbers multiplied together, this, this total uh, number of kilojoules needed um, to raise one cow. So what's important here is if we have a think about our, our value for P, it's the number that we got in the previous, um, uh, previous question, it's the answer we got to the previous question. Even if we got that wrong, but you show you work in here and you use your number, the number that you actually calculated, you can still get marks here. It's something called error carried forward. 
um, and they will still allow that. The other thing is it, it says show you working and very often in these calculations it says show you're working and that's because you can get marks even if you get the wrong answer but you've shown that you know you knew how to carry out the calculation you can get at least some of the marks okay so let's have a look at this calculation oh one thing to, to bear in mind here and this is where I said this information in the question becomes really important is it might be very easy to think oh well I calculated the p-value in the last question that was 3.74 so I'll just put that in the at the top of my fraction 3.74 doesn't sound to me like it, it sort of matches up with these other numbers. These other numbers are a lot bigger. So what else is going on here? And that's because um, the, this, don't forget, these, these are in kilojoules times 10 to the power of 6 per year. So we've got to multiply that number, that 3.74, by 10 to the power of 6 for the top of our fraction. So we've got 3.74 times 10 to the power of 6 divided by... 21,135 times 8,100, which gives us 0 0.0218. And then to convert that into a percentage, we need to multiply by 100. So the answer is 2.18. And this is just the correct answer. I've taken this straight from the mark scheme. So correct answer is 2.18. They will accept 2.19 or even 2.2. Um, if you rounded it to one decimal place um, and notice it says correct for candidates A2. So in other words, this is where I said even if your uh, answer is not the same as this, but it is correct based on your answer to the previous question, you can still get both marks. And then it also says here um, you can get one mark if you've shown your answer for A1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 divided by um, uh, this this um product of these two numbers times by 100. So even if you've shown how to do the working, so you've got this bit right, but for whatever reason, I don't know, you've punched the numbers in wrong on the calculator or what have you, and you've, you've got the wrong number at the end, you can still get half of the mark. So please, please, please always show you working. And I know it's so easy, isn't it, to think, oh, well, yeah, that's straightforward. I can do that, which some people might feel more confident doing. Other people might feel like they, they, they you know, need to show it more methodically. But show you working because you can get marks um, even if you make um, uh, mistakes in your calculation. Okay.